everyone and welcome back to Big Oggy World. Um, this is your build up to Christmas as you know by now. If you don't know by now you've got a lot of catching up to do so go and have a look. Um, today we are doing something traditional but with a twist. Yeah not traditional we're doing trifle. We are doing trifle but we that are was trifle. Sorry. Oh, so I'll just check it was on. Let's check the other cameras on. Sorry I'm holding one camera here and looking at the other one behind me. <laughs> Carry on. We're doing a white chocolate trifle okay or a white forest trifle if you want to call yeah. it that does, does it have um je jelly in it no 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 no, 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 no. Jelly. i'm a bit concerned by this trifle look we found this trifle uh, it's, in a magazine yes it's in easy cook christmas crackers it's in easy cook christmas crackers but because i was worried about this trifle um i started looking for other variations of a white forest trifle today online yeah and i found exactly the same recipe yeah exactly the same everything right yeah. up on olive magazine from 10 years ago yeah so it just goes to show that food magazines they basically either copy each other or all work for the same company or all just keep all their old stuff and re revamp it so that's exactly it, the same picture that's what it looks like that's what it's supposed to look like yeah sorry there we go um but my ours, concern ours concern. is different because we've got a tall trifle dish and yeah. theirs is wide so that's going to be different to start off with the other thing is is that it uses madeira cake yeah which you make into jam sandwiches with black cherry jam that all sounds good no that's problem good that. love now, madeira no problem um, madeira is fine you use cherries black cherries with kirsch we have now a couple of different ones at the moment we because do, it's christmas yeah, so you need a sizable amount of them yeah you yeah. need about three 390 gram jars you need about a kilo of it so yeah. with these two that's that, that's that right it. it is for a sizable trifle it is i reckon it will serve about 10. it's often, yeah. it's a no cook so you don't have to cook it at all um and they reckon it'll take about half an hour to put together it is literally a put together thing it is but because there's no jelly and they're not using an awful lot of liquid well i'm worried the bottom bit when you put the bottom sponges in you put three tablespoons of the kirsch yep. over the bottom okay and then you add some cherries but you push the cherries out to the side so they make it, it look pretty, pretty. yeah we like are doing that. what we're told on the magazine here right now to make it look pretty yep um and then you put another layer of sponge uh, no then you put the cream like the custard but the yep. custard is just tinned custard yeah yeah because this is an easy cook thing we're using quite posh deluxe cut yeah, of like rosy because you like this one this reminds me of actually rice pudding it really does taste like yeah this one pudding. to me is more vanilla-y than yeah. the ordinary one the ordinary one i find is a bit almondy okay but considering the fact we have almond in there oh, sorry we have vanilla in this yeah that works right okay so you mix the custard with mascarpone mascarpone yeah now that in itself is a little bit of a worry because the mascarpone is going to thicken the custard which stops it soaking into the possibly sponge yep do we have double cream in this as well double cream goes on the top sorry okay so but that'll be probably whipped up or something yeah, i expect that so again whipped. that's not going to just soak through um hmm it and does we've got chocolate. say we've got chocolate yeah it does say that you can put like a little bit more of the kirsch in if you want to yeah so i reckon we'll, what we'll do is we'll put the bottom base in then we'll put the kirsch on like it says then we'll put the custard on and well, then when well, we put the next layer on we'll put some more kirsch on the the okay. sponge then yep uh, we've done other recipes i'm not sure if they've gone out yet that have used tinned cherries yep. which don't have any alcohol in them and quite no. possibly you could do that with this you as well you could use ordinary tinned cherries if obviously you don't want your children to have alcohol or even you don't want to have alcohol that's absolutely fine but we thought we'd try and be authentic yep. Uh, and although john's having serious doubts now you're like, well i'm having serious doubts because we have we have numerous magazines we just bought a whole bunch of new ones for december january now so we are trying lots of different recipes from different magazines so that you get a whole cacophony that's a good word Ooh. i know um, of recipes from different places mm -hmm. but i'm just not sure about this one right now I just think it's going to be dry sponge with a bit of custard in it. Well, which is we'll literally see. what it is. But we have to give it a go. Yeah, so we'll give it a go. We're doing a taste do. test and a video and a recipe review all at the same time. So, what, what do we you do? do to start off with is you get two 300 gram Madeira cakes. Yeah, now, we can get ours no, 300. Ours weren't 300, they're smaller than that. Ours is 275. So, we're going to use two and a half. Okay. 
and you cut them into two centimeter slices. Yep. And then you butt, well, you don't butter them. You butt butt them, you jam them. You jam them, them. You jam you them jam with, with black cherry jam. Black cherry jam, jam which have to be good. Well, it's a good one to conserve, but yeah, yeah black cherry stuff will be so you're gonna make jam sandwiches yeah, with, with cake. cake. Okay, so we'll so, do that. Let's get on with that first. Okay. Be a good idea to take the paper off the bottom, I reckon. Taking the paper off the bottom would be a good idea, yes. Makes it a little bit more chewy, probably a bit drier if you leave the paper off. Yeah, even drier. Would, would you like to demonstrate how to cut a piece of cake and make a cake sandwich, or should we just move on to the next bit later? I don't think people really need to see how to cut Madeira cake, do they really? Do you really? Well, I'll cut, I'll that, cut. That's how you cut Madeira cake. And then you do it again, and then you and basically do it again and put again. jam in the middle of it. Right, we, we shall come back. Right then, darling, you have um, created jam sandwiches. I have done jam sandwiches. Jam sandwiches and Madeira cake. Now. Uh, now, what do we do? Now, it says to cut each sandwich into four. Yeah, we've decided they go into cubes. Well, I can't see any other way of no. cutting it into four. So, so I reckon like that yep. and then like that. Just so you get jammy cubes. Okay, then, love, so we have uh, chopped all the pieces. We've got our jammy cubes. Yep. We set aside seven cherries to decorate the top uh, if you count that there's eight i know because one's very small okay right um then i reckon because of the way you have to put them in we need to drain them from the kirsch i think yeah just so we've got the, the cherries to deal with yeah. and then we, we spoon the kirsch later so that's what we're going to do next so i'm going to drain that into a this is from the easy cook magazine as in everything's supposed to be easy yeah what they're um, saying is you are supposed to then chop all these cherries in half but we're finding that one of the jars we've got the cherries are quite small those are a bit bigger so maybe we will just chop those up a little bit let me get a dish to put them all in a minute okay okay darling so you drained all your cherries we're keeping the uh the kirsch is over in a kirsch jar already the yeah so the next thing to do is to take your mascarpone okay and beat it until it's smooth basically so it's one tub of mascarpone about it's 250, 250 grams. grams and i think they're all pretty much that yeah size. i think they're pretty standard size so, so whilst, whilst you're just going to give that a little bit of a beat up just to soften it really and make it go smooth just one take second um we're using two tins of custard the, the ingredients will be put on the details below as always according to the magazine they're saying 600 grams 500 grams 500 grams, 500 500 grams. 500 grams. We've got 800 grams here, so we're kind of winging it and putting as much as we need. Obviously, at the same day, uh, we film quite often more than one recipe on the day. And we're making the Irish stew, which you may have already seen all the time, you may not. But recipes, the ingredients list are quite often just a kind of a guide. And if you've got a large bowl of trifle like us, you've got to fill up. Maybe we'll just need more custard, more cream, etc. But it's a guide, remember that. Right, so the mascarpone is smooth now. Yep. And then I'm going to add a whole of one tin of custard. Yep. I'm going to do it in two halves. Reason for that? Is there any reason for that? Just so that I can get it mixing in so it doesn't sort of completely split. Okay. And to be quite honest, it makes sure I make so. Well, I'd be doing that, but if you want to hold the camera, I'd be quite happy to do your whisking for you, dear. You are such a help. I am normally, yeah, but I can't hold two cameras at the same time. Johnny and Fanny will try better. Absolutely. There we go. Lovely. Pop the rest in, then I'll um, I'll whip it up for you. You're going to use a sizable chunk from the other two. Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm going to spoon out and just slug some in. I think that's probably. Okay. Enough. So we probably use about half a tin. We've probably gone for about six hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Would you and like then to into do that? that you okay for that? Yeah, it's a lot looser now. Into that, then we need to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract, or this is paste. So this paste, so yeah, paste or extract. But we always say just don't use essence because essence basically is fake. There we go. That just adds to the vanilla, and obviously, you know, the certain certain branded um, custard we're using is very vanilla -y as well. So that kind of works for me. So once we've done this, it's, it's a case of putting it all together. So we'll come back in a second when we get the bowl. 
Okay, so we're back. Um, now, according to their magazine, obviously they've got that shaped bowl, they've got two layers. We think we're probably gonna do three layers because we've got a higher, deeper bowl. So, first layer is in. Don't have to be too pretty, just make sure you pack a load of them in. And then what do you right. do? Then we put in half of the, or some of the cherries. Yeah. But you need to push them to the outsides of. Well, that's because they want to make it look pretty for a picture or for obviously Christmas if you're using it for a family. We've got plenty of cherries, I don't think it'll be a problem. That's good. Quite frankly, we've probably got enough to do like that. Lovely. There we go. Okay. And then you add your custard. Do you have to put any of the curse in at the moment? Uh, yeah, sorry. That's Three right. tablespoons. That's what I remind you. Approximately. Well, uh, a, a sizable glug, really. I mean, they'd have to make measurements, but quite frankly, it's, it's there to wet the sponge. Now, I did say at the start, I was worried about how dry this might be, but I have actually nibbled the ends of the uh, sponge because we, we thought it best to not have the edges on because that would actually not soak things up. And it's, Madeira's fairly moist, really, when you start eating it. It's kind of cloy and it, when it sticks to roof your mouth, it kind of then goes soft. So it's not going to be a dry sponge, not like those sponge fingers that we all know and loathe. No, I hate those sponge fingers. Right, so now you're going to put your custard on. Okay. So you want a layer of custard, and obviously if we're going to make more than two layers, we're going to need to... Oh, I dropped custard everywhere. You are, yeah. But that's kind of Christmas for you, just make a mess up, it's fine. No one's going to know, it's a trifle. There. There you go, lovely. Looks good to me. Right, now we need another layer of Cake. Cake. So we're going to carry on building a second and we'll come back. So one more layer of sponge, one more layer of cherries. Looking good, not looking quite as pretty as theirs. Then again, I've never had a McDonald's burger that looks as pretty as it does on the posters, so that's not entirely unexpected. Right. Right, we carry on. What do you think, John, about maybe trying another layer or not? Um, I'm going to put all of these cherries in here. Yeah, I think you put all the cherries in, and then what we'll do is we'll put the rest of the custard layer in, and then we'll do the cream top. Make sense? Yeah. What are you doing, darling? So into this bowl, I've put two tablespoons of icing sugar. Okay. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Okay. And 600 mils of double cream. So you're making a kind of Chantilly cream, I yeah. think. So this needs to be whipped softly. You okay. don't want it really firm peaks, just softly Soft whipped. Peaks. Yeah. Okay, we'll get on with that and we'll come back. We're nearly there. We are nearly there. Look, you are. We are nearly there. So that's a joint effort. Yeah. Because um, although we have got power whisks, we decided to do it by hand. You must be mad. Right. Didn't so. take long, actually. This goes on top. Yep, the part of the Chantilly cream on top of the mascarpone custard cream layer, really. Mm -hmm. I think we might have done this a bit hard. Well, it'll be fine. Well, that was well rescued, darling. Um, our Chantilly cream was a little bit on the thick side. We slightly over whipped it, yeah. a bit carried away. It's supposed to be soft. Um, ours was a bit firm. Ours was a bit like firm peaks. Okay. So if you add just a tiny bit of milk and mix it, don't whip it, obviously, because the more you whip it, the harder it'll get. So mix it gently. And it, it goes will, like that. Um, it will soften back down. Looks good. So, so the next bit is to basically put some white chocolate curls. Curls, they're saying 200 grams, to be honest. Um, we used about a block and a little bit, about 150 grams. It depends what game, what size of bowl you've got. Whilst Kelly does that, if you want to know how I did it, one of those. Okay, it's sliced up and down. Yes, it does melt on your hands a little bit. Be surprised, but that's how you create curls. You could um, put your chocolate into the freezer. Freezer, yeah. 
which will help you. But it's slightly different to grating, yeah. like creating curls. So that's that. And then all we need to do now is add some cherries to make it look even prettier. And we're kind of done. We are done. So remember we're now supposed to have seven. Pick the pretty ones. Well done, you, oh, you did maths in school, there you go. Yeah. There you go. Actually, so, I'm gonna swap that one out. You don't like that one? No, that's not pretty enough for you. There. So that is, that. quickly, apart from the mess, that is. A white forest trifle. And actually, that looks pretty good. It's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, I will say, I, I have a different we, bowl. I mean, I think we've got a bit more kirsch in ours. Yeah, we decided to go for a bit more kirsch, but hey, like we said, it's not going to be as pretty on the, as on the picture because quite often they're fakes. Absolutely. I know, I used to know someone who worked in that business. So, we'll, uh, we'll give it a little that. taste test in a while. That's not bad. But right now, that's pretty good. Absolutely. Come back in a few minutes. A thing of beauty, maybe. A thing of beauty is quite a lump, I know that. Right. So, everybody, this is the uh, finished white forest trifle. Yep. Uh, we put it in the fridge for about an hour. hour hour or so just to kind of chill it down and and see if it kind of all amalgamated a little bit i guess yeah obviously i think it'll keep for a few days anyway and put and pop it in the fridge but we're going to cut a slice out and um see what it's like, see what it's like. yeah good for it girl so like i said it's one of those trifles where it doesn't have jelly in it some people think they should have jelly some people think they shouldn't now there's a conversation. We should do a things for drinks. That looks really good. Thank you. Follow me. Lovely. Oh, I got it all up the arm. Ah, so. you all up your arm. Exactly. That's certainly a thing. Chocolate's good. I will say the chocolate's good. Got the chocolate from um, Sainsbury's. Take, taste taste the difference. difference. Sainsbury's. Very good chocolate. So I've got a bit there. Uh, very nice. Madagascar and vanilla white chocolate. So. Dig in, love. So I'm trying to find a bit of sponge. I want a bit. Of, make sure I get a sponge in this somewhere. Cherry's a nice chocolate. It's nice. Did I get a sponge? I don't know. Sponge is light. The sponge is light. Actually, that's pretty really good. Not dry. No, not dry at all. So. Whether the fat's on the custard or just the, the jam inside the sponge has actually softened it all. It's That's probably really nice. a combination of all of it. Not massively cursory, but if you, if you, when you open the jars, we did taste it. And it, mm. even though they say they're in curves, they're not, it's not like banging your headache, is it? It's just. No. But, Frank, it's a winner. Mm. And the little white curled chocolate work it just yeah. gives a little tiny sweetness change also gives a slight shade of texture cherries are good and we just use two different ones so we're not saying there's a particular one out there that's yeah. the best i think you could do it with tins i don't think it'll make an awful lot of difference if you do no, it with tins i don't think it would either you could probably do it with tins and drop a bit of brandy over it or a little bit of sherry or something on it if you wanted to make it like that yeah but, um, which would make it significantly cheaper because obviously cheaper. cherries and kirsch are not cheap no but it's christmas it's not as dry no yeah but it's all right saying it's christmas but a lot of people are really struggling yeah, this christmas so if you could buy two tins well you could probably buy three tins buy three for tins the price of one one of those and you need at least two of those yeah you know look, let's, let's be honest here that's a sizable thing. I mean, we're family of four here, but it could take a few days to eat that lot. Yeah. If we indeed do eat a lot. Um, that's really nice. The mascarpone and the custard works. Yeah, I think that just, it? yeah. Yeah, it all works. It works well, actually. Very surprised. It wasn't what I was expecting Because you're, you're not a keen sponge person with trifle. And actually, you're not keen I on Madeira, you said. Well, I don't like sponge in jelly hmm. i like jelly in my trifle but i don't like sponge in my jelly did you just have a pip i do yeah 
There you go. So be careful when you get cherries in jars, because you just might get, get might get a stone. So be a little bit careful. That would have been good. Don't do that before Christmas. No. Don't just don't destroy that, that could have been that could have been a blue from the beer at the Sirius. Right. Are we going? We're going. I think We're that's going. a good one. I I'd say give it a go. Make it cheaper if you want. You know, you can buy the cheaper custard. Yeah. Mascarpone, not expensive. Bit of milky bar on top. Absolutely, a bit of milky bar on the top. Yeah. Bit of cream. Cream is okay. You know, to, cream's not too honest, expensive. To be honest, the Madeira cake wasn't expensive. That was just bog standard Sainsbury's Madeira cake. Yeah. Don't even know if we got one there, but you've no. seen it on the video. Cheap as chips. Yeah. No problem at all. So, yeah. Actually, I really recommend this one now. I Didn't think price per oh, head yeah. would, like, for how much you've got there. Sacks with there. Exactly. You could feed. I don't even know how many of the recipes said it would I don't feed. Know. I reckon that will right, feed a dozen. It's it a, reckons it'll serve 10. Yeah, I was going to say. And it's I reckon serve it probably 10, would. 10 or 12, absolutely it will, yeah. So, yeah. So when you Lovely. think about, you know, price per head, it's probably it's pretty, pretty good for a dessert. Yeah, especially for a, a signature dessert for a big dinner. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Do all those things. Come and join us on Big Oggy World and myself on Big Oggy Golf. And we got a lot more videos to do for Christmas. Yeah, we, we have. Yeah, we really want to get the subscriber base up to a thousand by the end of the year. It's ticking along gently, but we need your help. If you've got friends who love food and love recipes and love Cornwall, get them to come and subscribe with you. Yeah, let's all make it a big community. Got some giveaways to do between, I think, Christmas and New Year, I think we're we'll doing. Yeah, do something nice for you for the New Year. Yeah, we got a few ideas. So, let's get cracking. Have a great day, whatever you're doing. Give us one a try if you like a trifle, especially if you don't like Jay. See you again soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.